Shalom, welcome back to Project Tefillah. I'm so glad that you've joined us. Today we're going to look at the sixth bracha of the Amidah and delve deeply into this bracha. Salah Lanu, it begins. Forgive us, our Father, for we have sinned. Pardon us, our King, for we have transgressed. For you forgive and pardon. Praised are you, gracious and forgiving Lord. In a sense, blessings four through six of the Amidah, knowledge, repentance, and now this, forgiveness, constitute a cluster. From knowledge comes self-awareness and understanding. Forgiveness of another is an attribute of God and something to be emulated. Unwilling to forgive is cruel and immoral, teaches Maimonides. Forgiveness may be seen as a vulnerability or a weakness by some, but in reality it shows a strength of character and morality of goodness. To forgive is to show others that you know others have done wrong, but you are willing to let them make amends and that you are willing to move on. As I say often in preparation for Yom Kippur, God will forgive us at the end of the day. That is when the hard work begins, as we seek forgiveness from others, and as we give it as well. From knowledge leads us to repentance, and repentance leads us to forgiveness. And as the concluding bracha teaches that God is gracious and quick to forgive, so too we can be gracious and quick to forgive as well. So I'd like to invite us this week to set a goal this week to be gracious and to forgive quickly. How do we do that? We do so by stopping ourselves at that moment when we have been wronged and choose to be gracious or choose to, uh, or choose to hold a grudge or retain our anger, which will be better for us. And when we are cut off by a car when changing lanes, will we yell and scream at the person? Or perhaps we will give them the benefit of the doubt and understanding through our graciousness and our compassion so that they understand they just made a mistake. So this week, let's set an intention. How will you be gracious and offer forgiveness to others this week? And as you pray each day, seek out the texts that teach us to be gracious and compassionate to others, even if they didn't deserve it. Thank you. Have a great week. Hallelujah, <laughs> <laughs>